proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity, that a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. And then, he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Right back at you. He finds the distillery. Right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. the city's heart. Might as well. Well, down he goes. Down toward the bastion. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There's a bit of the bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Kid ponders what to build. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check. And now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. He 
comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kids sees a plane, frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. The Tunder brothers didn't make it. Nor did the bird boy didn't make it. But him, he survived. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. There's only one way in the Cinderbrick Fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy for normal folks. Well, windbags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. Security's plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. The skyway's a welcome sight after all that. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. Can't be too careful these days. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put her back together. The shards. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wilds. So much for that plan. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds. 
and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. They moved quick and quiet. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Can't get hasty in a place like this. They say it can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Queenie leaves the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? You use a kid as bait. The shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us borrowing from her treasury. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. The lost and found. Here kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. First things first. What do we build next? The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here, but we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. All sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. Places inhospitable as they come. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, we saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Charleston Bog. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more. The cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. 
It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time. Taking it all in. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, you know as cores. Those rocks won't soon forget this. Just takes three things to build the greatest city in the world. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives, Rattletails. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? It might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, we know as cores. Remember how I said Rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. The only thing harder than the rocks in Burstone Quarry is Sir Lunky's head. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. It's him. Are you all right? It says. We talk for a spell. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. The Hura think they got him. They're wrong. No way out of this, not without a fight. Zolf showed him the way here, and here they came. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The Bastion, it's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. You made it. Hey, kid.
It's finished. Now, nah, sit tight. It'll be over soon. No matter what happens next, you're done good. I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment.